Nataka niwashukuru sana na nirudie tena kwamba Mungu mbali na kutupatia ushindi alitusaidia mambo mawili alitupatia uchaguzi wa amani na vile vile akatupatia uchaguzi ambao uliondoa ukabila katika siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya Nikiwa hapa Nyeri mahali kuna Mount Kenya Mimi nataka niseme kwa niaba ya wakenya wote Niwashukuru watu wa mlima Kenya Mumefanya mambo mawili ya muhimu katika historia ya taifa letu la Kenya Watu wa mlima walikuwa mstari wa mbele wakati tulitafuta uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya Kwa niaba ya wakenya wale wengine wote nataka niwaambie asante sana Leo tuko taifa huru kwa sababu wengi wa wakenya wakiwemo mstari wa mbele watu wa mlima Kenya walipigana ndio tuweze kupata uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya ya pili hapo katikati siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya ilikuwa ilikuja ikatekwa nyara na ukabila na wakenya wengi walikuwa wanashangaa hii ukabila tutaiondoa vipi katika siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya mara nyingine tena ninyi kama watu wa mlima Kenya bila ya wakenya wengine kufikiria ama kupanga mkaamua ya kwamba nyinyi ndio mtaongoza kuondoa siasa ya ukabila katika siasa ya Kenya and i want to say in a very special way the people of mount kenya did the unimaginable they did the unexpected watu wengi hawakuamini ya kwamba watu wa mount kenya wanaweza kumpigia kura mtu ambaye si wa mount kenya karibu asilimia tisini. Na mimi ndio nasimama mbele yenu kusema on behalf of the people of Kenya you have made our country proud that in Kenya today we can say we can vote for a leader we can vote for a party devoid of our ethnicity and that we have put our nation on a new trajectory that Kenya will never be the same again we are going to be a different nation. Na nawashukuru sana. Nasema hivyo kwa sababu mambo mengi yalipangwa. Fitina nyingi zikaenezwa. Uchochezi mwingi ukawa kati yetu. Lakini mulisimama imara. Mukakataa ukabila. Mukakataa uchochezi mukakataa chuki nyinyi mtabarikiwa na Mungu na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutaungana na hawa viongozi wote tuweze kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya because we have a historic moment as a people we have a historic moment as a nation 
to change our country and change it for good. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie watu wa mlima na watu wa Kenya ya kwamba sitawaangusha. Eh. Mukiona vile na kaza hawa marafiki zangu viongozi wenzangu. Ni kwa sababu mimi sitaki aibu ya kuangusha. We will not fail you. Na ndio mnaona hii kazi tunafanya na bidii na kujitolea. Naona watu wengine wanasema nimekaza watu sana. Lakini ni kwa sababu ile mmetufanyia mahali mmetutoa hatutaki ifike siku ya kwamba nyinyi mtasema ile juhudi yenu imeenda bure we have to work hard so that we can justify the faith the commitment the sacrifice you have made to make us who we are na ndio nasungumza na hawa viongozi wenzangu kila mara kuwaeleza ya kwamba kwa vyovyote whatever it takes we cannot fail these people we cannot fail the people of kenya na ndio mimi nataka niwashukuru sana mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Sagana Rigiji deputy wangu jana ni, tumesimama pale eh Kiamariga hapo madukani ameni introduce kwa watu wa hapa watu wa nyumba kumi. ameni introduce kwa ule mwangi wa mbembe mimi nimekula mahindi jana nimeona kweli anatosha Amen introduce kwa muti ya kuuza nyama. Na sasa mimi nitakuwa muti ya kijiji hapa. Ile maneno yote ya kijiji hapa tafadhali msinisahau. Wakati mnaitana munitumie muni salamu pia niweze kuwa kwa hiyo kikundi. Na niko na muti yangu ya kunifikishia maneno rigiji yuko hapo. Nimefurahi sana kufika hapa mambo mengi ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya na hasa ya mlimani hapa nitaketi chini na hawa wabunge na magavana wetu na mawaziri hawa tuketi hapa tukubaliane mambo ambayo tumeandika katika mpango yetu ya plan ya kupeleka Kenya mbele nataka niwahakikishie maneno ya kumbukumbu la Torati ama Deuteronomy 28 mstari wa 12 kwa sababu tuko kanisani inasema Mungu atatufungulia hazina yake God is going to open his good treasures for us Inasema Mungu atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake. He is going to give us rain in season. Inasema Mungu atabariki kazi ya mikono yetu. God is going to bless the work of our hands. Na inasema jambo la ine kwamba sisi kama inchi hatutakopa tena lakini tutakopesha wengine we will not borrow but we are going to lend hiyo ndio nchi ambayo tunasema hapa mlimani Mungu ametuahidi and we have no reason not to trust god na ndio bishop william ametuambia tunavuka hiyo upande mahali hiyo maneno iko